There's two other dolphins in front of them that pull the rope, maybe? Good evening, everybody. Um, we just had this little session done with Heidi and uh, because we're gonna leave tomorrow back to the mainland. We are actually now on Hawaii Big Island. So I hope you will enjoy that video. Give us a thumbs up like always uh, for those that deem that video or that session as important or as nice. Um, it's a light, it should have been a, a light session, of course, um, we didn't expect her to see herself being once in that community that we might be have called Lemuria or whatever it could be, we're not going to assume anything, we just go with what we felt, what we saw, and, and so on. So we're coming back soon with more videos, we had a little break, and we'll have time more to share. Uh, we wish you a wonderful whatever be evening, evening, night, whatever is your time right now, and see you soon. Take care, everybody. Very good. What can you perceive right now? I'm in the ocean. It's like they. And when you're younger, they, they train you to, they put you in this rope, it looks like a rope, and they train you to ride on the dolphin, but as you get older, you don't need it anymore, so it's like, it's like you're, being trained to ride a bike, I guess. I think there's maybe more than one, but there's a little girl. But maybe that's, I'm just watching. Mm -hmm. So what are you watching then? I'm watching her. Okay. So the, I think they're more elderly, but they still can, they're, it's like, there's a few different people, children there. Mm -hmm. And there's a girl, well actually there's a girl and a boy on the dolphin. So you can be trained together. And they're like lined up with this rope. Who is like lined three, up? Who three is dolphins. Mm -hmm. And there's children on each one of them. Like there's two on the left and two on the right, but only one in the middle. And there's two other dolphins in front of them that pull the rope, maybe? And the elder, the older, there's like two older the natives are on each side of the dolphin and they have a way to communicate with them. Mm, tell them to, to go. Okay. And they have mm -hmm. something in their hand. It's almost like um like vibrates in the water. They put it in the water and it you could see the vibration, like move the water somehow. So what would be the purpose of that tool? I think it's like directing on where they want them to go or... I think it's almost like a protection so that nothing can get in the way. So everything that's in the ocean will not be in that vicinity of the area that the children are on. Mm -hmm. So if you would overall ask about what this scene that you're seeing is supposed to mean, what kind of information that be, would be infor important for you to know, what would it be? 
how the, how the children learn how to ride on the dolphins. Okay. What is the purpose for them to ride on dolphins? Or do they need or must do that? So they can get to the bottom. And they take them to the bottom. Okay. To the bottom of what? Of the ocean. Why would they need to go to the bottom of the ocean? Because there's many different crystals down there. Mm hmm. Hmm. It's like they're stuck. Hmm. They actually can pick them. They're very rare ones that are down there. So you can pick them up and bring them to the surface or what? Yeah, but they have to really kind of go in there and it's like a quick process that they have to like pull them because somehow they're anchored to the bottom of the ocean. Mm -hmm. And they're allowed to take them? Yes. And what We're like it? in training. So Only certain ones can do that. So how can they go under with those delf dolphins under the water? Because they have they have ways they can breathe. Okay. Almost um. like they have hmm. They they have things they breathe out of. Where would that be located on their bodies? Looks like their ribs. Like their rib part? Where the ribs are? So on their rib cage? Mm -hmm. From they those? look like they align with the ribs. Mm -hmm. So then like more the front, the side, or on their back? Both front and back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's how or what they would use to get get air off the, the that's water. That's how they breathe. are able to go under and stay under for a little amount of time, but they can't. There's only certain ones that are able to go that far under. Not everyone mm -hmm. here can do that. Okay. Well, now we go to the purpose of those crystals. What purpose do the crystals have if they can pick mm -hmm. them? Mm -hmm. And to what? They have energy in them. Like um, when you get to the bottom of the ocean, you feel it's very, they're, they're very powerful energies. It's almost like they help survive the community. It's, um, it gives them strength and energy and they wear them but it looks like they also have them inside them somehow like when they are born they are placed within the baby uh, to give them certain strength and energy, I guess. Okay. I don't know why. Okay. So let's go to the dolphins. All the dolphins that are helping to train those children, do they do that voluntarily or are they forced to do that? No. No, they, they are. It's strange because I see ones also on land, but I don't think these are dolphins. They have feet where they can actually crawl. It looks more like maybe a seal or something. Mm, they're, but the dolphins, they communicate with these They communicate with them. Mm -hmm. How do they communicate together? 
and they call out with this high pitch where it's it hurts my ears. So it would hurt your ears. You know, it hurts. Mm -hmm. And it it brings a vibration to the water, like the water ripples. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's something underneath that ocean too that communicates with them as well. It feels like it's. Mm -hmm. So let's go. Those let's see those children. They mm -hmm. learn all that to write the dolphins and to communicate, to die for all that. Once they're grown up in that society that they're in, what would be their function? Because you said these are some special ones, it's not everybody is able to go mm -hmm. down the ocean. Mm -hmm. So what would be their purpose or function in that society? And they are the ones that are going to lead the community. They're the ones that have Things that others don't have. They will be the decision makers. And they are the ones that were embedded with certain crystals, I guess. They come from something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you could feel out where that is located, where are or where were those people that you can observe right now? If you would go above the surface high enough to see, I mean, way above the clouds, almost like having a visual from a couple hundred miles and if you would take as reference the Earth as we know it, or think to know, where would that be located? In the middle. In the middle of the islands. So you see water? Yes, but it's not very close. It's very it's not it's not close to the islands now. It's so okay, I have to have a little bit more specific questions. When you go away above it and with one side of your observation and your memory you know how the whole Hawaiian Islands look like. Mm -hmm in the middle of the Pacific and now you go back in the time of the society mm -hmm. do you think it looks like the same or is it different down it's there? All, all, all one it's not, it's all one it's just one what is one? this place I'm at it's just one civilization it's just one, there's not one location So what do you mean by one one continent? One big, um, one big island. Mm -hmm. Are there more islands around this no. so-called island, or even just one big one? Just one big one. Mm -hmm. If you would compare it to another island or continent that we would know of today, what would be the size? Mm. Approximately. It's not very big, but I would probably say Australia, maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Or Africa. So fairly, fairly big, huh? Mm. So not even if considered. I saw a map. That's what it's kind of shaped. It's kind of 
Okay. Of course, I see it as being small, but mm -hmm. if it was on a map, it would be that size. So if you would go forward in time and then you connect back, maybe to connect back first to where you were with the society, the dolphins, mm -hmm. going that moment of time. Mm -hmm. And you fast forward to the moment where this big island, if you want to call it that way right now, our continent ended to be. And you would observe that from a very high angle of observation. Mm -hmm. What would that be that made that change to what you think it is today? It looks like a big, there's a big swirl in the water. Mm, it's creating something just explain how it looked like it's crazy it's very so it's is it like a swirl you say mm -hmm. something's something is controlling it somehow underneath underneath Mm -hmm. What do you mean, right? Underneath, underneath, something what? underneath. Underneath what? Something that is underneath is controlling it somehow. Underneath the water. Underneath the, the water. Mm -hmm. And there's above as well in the above the clouds. Above it's the clouds. Like a vessel, like a. Something connecting to the bottom up and above the. Mm -hmm. So, if you observe that there is something, a part of that continent, like the swirl and even something in the air, mm -hmm. um, are they, let's say, mm -hmm. there as in a positive way or in a negative way, as mm -hmm. you would see it? It's not, not a happy, happy way. Mm -hmm. Do those people living on that island know about that? Some. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do about that? That is going to affect your island. Mm. Some. It's really hard to. It's too powerful. What is too powerful? The waves. So there are waves. Mm -hmm. What happens with those waves? What They're very doing? high. Mm -hmm. There's it's really, really high. Mm -hmm. And those waves, if you say they're high, it's not by by the island though. It's creating. It's in the process of being created. And some don't, they've heard, but have no idea that it's being created at this time and moment. Mm -hmm. So when those waves then yeah. actually go in action, what the dolphins. happens? The dolphins walk? Mm -hmm. What about them? They're warning the people. Mm -hmm. Are they able to warn them? Yes, so they are. So what happens next? They're trying to figure out what to do. Okay, go forward. What happens next? Mm, they have underground places they can go to. Some of them can. Mm -hmm. They have been prepared that they're, they're underground, above the community where they have the, the, their like marble, they look like mansions when they're made out of marble. And above that is lots of flowers and Lots of plants. So and in that area, that is where they have the holes. 
so that it's more above ground or in higher and higher grounds. Where the plants where the holes are to go they in. are in, in that, that area but they are underestimating that this will be washed away okay so that's what you perceive it's going to be washed away mm -hmm. so what happens when you see what's going on when it is washed away what would you perceive explain that mm, that the ones that have thought of this were not as intelligent as they should have been and there are ones that were creating underground I think these are the ones that were with the del dolphins mm -hmm. they have underground help to help the society eventually spread throughout the world and the world will be part of the people in some way but not like they were when they were then. Okay, so when you see that happening now, what actually happens to the island now? What can you perceive? Please talk. Just observe, do you not have to feel it? Please talk. What do you mean? Proceed. I want to no, no, it's not there. It's in the water. It's in the water. It's in the water. What is in the water? The island. So I got those waves had some certain effect on the island. Mm -hmm. Okay. So pull your hair away and you can straighten your head a little bit. Up again. Straighten it up more. Very good. You will be comfortable. So what happens to the island? Are these the waves or is anything else that is affecting the island? The waves came up but it seems like something in the sky. Mm -hmm. They look only something or several of those? There's a few different things. There's these huge looking birds. They're huge. They're flying everywhere. I think they're trying to find their families, maybe. They are very big, but at the same time, it's other things in the sky. And they. They're shooting something down into the water. Okay. So there was some in, there was some influence or is some influence that is going to help those waves going to that island and do some destruction. Yes. Okay. 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 There are um, what we would call in certain areas that there. like underground locations. Did that help those people? Yes. But the mm -hmm. whole island was flooded, isn't right, it? Right, and so the ones above cannot find the... They knew, they knew that the, the landmarks, but because of the water, it they cannot... Something, the connection has been lost for them somehow. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they're trying to find them so that they can make sure that they are no longer in existence. Okay, you can now leave that, close that part, go back to the times and everything was all right. Can you talk something about or say something about the political system? Mm -hmm. So was there 
some kind of leadership in a way that was mm. guiding the people? Mm, it was e e equal, equal. It was equal. It was no. It was equal. They tried to make it where everybody was in harmony with one another. That was their who they were. However, there had to come a time when ones had to step up, and that's what they were preparing these young. They had to step up to do what? They were preparing these children, very few. They, certain ones knew in the generation line. So yeah. certain ones knew about what? Mm -hmm. Destruction to come. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the these ones that were younger were being trained into having to have the abilities to make the decisions as they become older and the civilization starts to understand the process of the control that's starting to happen at that time. Okay, so you said there was no political structure. Was there any leadership in a in a way that we may not understand today. The women. Okay. The what about them? The women were in more of the leaderships because they had the energy within them of understanding. Within that woman or women society, <laughs> was there like a still something like a leader or something that was? Um, guiding them. Mm -hmm. There was a leader, and she So does it feel there was more like a female or a male leadership yeah. on the young? It, it was more of the women mm -hmm. in this society. Okay. And there was a few that had the control to make the decisions through the family line, the family line within the, the civilization. Okay. So now I want you to disconnect from all that. I want you to figure out for a moment if you have any connection yourself to that time. Yes. What is the first that comes up? I'm riding on a dolphin. Mm -hmm. Are you perceiving yourself as uh, male or female? I'm a female, mm -hmm. but I feel like it's different features. Well, then go along the whole your whole body and explain mm -hmm. how you look like. I'm riding on a Dolphin, and there's someone behind me. I'm not by myself. Mm. I'm not really wearing a whole lot. Like maybe it's something around very, very small around my waist. I don't even think I'm wearing anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, there's so you when you perceive yourself, would you mm -hmm. compare to today what age you would have in that moment? Mm, that you perceive yourself? Maybe seven, maybe even younger than that. Okay. And that's why. Hmm, I'm having a little bit of a difficult time. What do you mean by that? <laughs> It's kind of hard for me. I don't understand. What are you not understanding? Why I'm doing it. I'm doing what? Learning to be trained to go under the water. Okay, well, keep that aside now. Can you just uh, talk about your features a little bit more? Mm -hmm. What kind of skin? 
color tone you would describe? Mm, it looks kind of like a very type of clay, maybe. Like blue clay. Okay. Maybe. What are your body proportions compared to a regular human today? Hmm. Mm, longer feet, maybe, and legs and arms, and my fingers are longer. Okay. Hmm. Do your finger on your hands feel hmm. like a human hand as well, or a little different? They almost are like. They have something in between the fingers. Mm -hmm. Would that help you? To, just to swim, maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So do you perceive yourself having those special features to breathe underwater or not? On the ribs? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I have... Hmm. I don't have all of them there. I'm missing a few. What do you mean by that? You're missing a few? The, the breathing. That's, there's, I only have a few of them. Okay. Is that a problem? Mm, I think it might be... I almost feel like this is my first day. Okay. I think that's why I'm scared a little bit because I don't. You don't know what to expect? I look a little different. What do I mean by that? Well, that's why there's. That's why there's two of us on the dolphin, because we don't have the same breathing parts as the other ones do. Mm -hmm. So you can breathe underwater? Mm -hmm. Well, let's go underwater now, and you're trying to do that. You're now there, and let us know how that feels like to do that. <laughs> mm, it feels free. Feels like our do our our dolphin. He's <laughs> he's playing with us. He's actually helping dig out the crystals with us, mm -hmm. and he does this little cute little code he has, like music maybe. A code. He sounds like he's singing. Mm -hmm. Like different notes. And I don't know if it's. I think it's a, telling us we've just spotted something important. But the others are over there, away from us. Mm -hmm. We almost feel like we don't belong there. Okay. So. <laughs> he has a special song or music he sings with his snout thing and he pulls us under further and he helps us dig out the crystals mm -hmm. and there's a few down there that are very they're extremely high energy I guess you would say okay and we don't want to tell anybody. Okay. So about the breathing, going mm -hmm. back, tell us how that feels, what you do, how does it feel to breathe underwater with that apparatus that you have? Well, I was scared at first. We were scared, but for some reason we're able to breathe, and I can't understand why. We shouldn't be able to. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's impossible. But it works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Well, there would be a lot of this score. I would like you now to go to the last day of your existence as this score. Go forward to that moment. You are now there. What is happening? Can you perceive something? Mm. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Okay. What's the first thing you perceive? Can't breathe. Okay. Mm. It's okay, you can breathe now. It's just a memory. So it's not gonna affect you, just observe. So you can't breathe. Where are you? Are you above or below the surface of the water? In the water. Mm -hmm. Why are you in the water? Because the waves came over. What kind of waves are you talking about? Mm. Mm. Are you on below water level? I'm below water. Mm -hmm. So what is happening with all that water above you? I'm weak and my stomach has been pierced a few times. Okay. And it's making me weak, but my dolphin is there with me. Mm -hmm. and they, it's the same one we were on. Okay, so you know him? Mm hmm, when we were children. How is your dolphin? He's weak too. Is there a reason why he's weak? Yes. Can you play? Please explain the reason. He looks like he was hurt somehow. Okay. So what Something was, was mm -hmm. taken away from him. It was cut. Mm. He's So what is happening, if you observe the bigger picture, what is happening that makes you being at the end of your existence? Give us a brief overview. Mm, in the water. And I'm trying to swim to the surface because it's pretty much over. And I can pop up here and there and see from a distance a little bit. I somehow fought very hard somehow. And something happened in my stomach. So you were fighting? Yes. Against what you were fighting? Then. They are... The ones that were above the ground, we had trusted them in many ways. What is that like? They look like you? No. No, they don't look like us. No. Can you explain how they look like? Mm. What's the basic features? They have nails mm -hmm. they look like they're a little bit like us but they're more of bumpy no. do they move on feet or not? yes okay how many legs they have they have two but they can actually walk on four okay do they have a tail or not yes okay and what's the tail for the tail is for actually balance in some way. Mm -hmm. Or these intelligent beings? Yes, they're very intelligent. So do you trust them as a, spe as, as a community? I didn't trust them. Mm -hmm. So they're responsible for what's going on right now while you're dying? Yes. Okay. So I don't want to go into that much more. What is happening to you right now? You said you were hurt at your stomach level, mm -hmm. belly level, mm -hmm. okay. And it's hard to breathe? Yes. Why is it hard to breathe? 
Are you not trained to breathe on the water? I'm weak. Mm -hmm. I feel weak. Mm -hmm. But I can see there's something inside of me that's... Allowing me to live. But that's why I could breathe underwater. But as you know, underwater, you say you're still too weak to breathe? I'm weak. Mm -hmm. Something has been taken away from our civilization. Almost like it was helping us survive in many ways. I think that's just what they were looking for somehow. Okay. Well, then I want you to go to the moment where you terminate your existence. You can know what's happening. Are you underwater or not? Yes. Okay. What are the last moments of your existence? What's happening? My dolphin is there with me. He's speaking in a code that I can understand. He's telling me that it is okay that the land will be protected and there will be ones that will be able to move into the future somehow. That is why the ones that are underground are helping them. And they will be part of the existence of our civilization. There will be ones that will not understand in many ways. They will be spread out throughout the communities of the world. More in the south part. Okay. It's what are your last thoughts before you leave? I'm explaining to him that I don't want to leave. And he says, that I can't. You have to bring me. You have to bring me. I can't die here. And he thinks he's too weak, but he will. He's trying. And he's calling for other dolphins if they can hear him. Are you, are you, is he succeeding? Yes. Okay, so what's There's happening? There's a few mm -hmm. younger ones there. I don't know if they are part of... I'm not even sure. I think this is his line of dolphins, so I don't know if this is my original dolphin. It could be... The, it could be... Okay. A part of him. I think it is, but I, I, I don't know now. Mm -hmm. And he... There's many that come forward, and I can see those seals that have the feet. And there's this huge serpent. Where many would think it was scary. But it's actually helping as well. Mm -hmm. So, what is happening to you when you terminate? He leads me. To what? To the body. I do not understand what you mean by that. He leads you to the body. Mm -hmm. To your body, you just exited, or what? Mm -hmm. You have to be a bit more specific. To the body of the one that has been with me on the dolphin. Okay. We are somewhat of the same. Mm -hmm. He leads me. Okay. And what happens next with that? I lay down. Mm -hmm. You don't have to feel it. Just observe. Mm -hmm. Remember that's the past. You don't have to feel that anymore. Please, you don't have to feel it anymore, just observe. So you see the body there, the other body, you can make out who or what that is. Okay, 
So what happens next is the two of you are there, being underwater and left your bodies. And they tie us. They tie us. It looks like it's seaweed or some type of something. And we're being wrapped in something to bring us down deep into the ocean. Who wraps you? The dolphins. Okay. And there's a sea urchin there that is somewhat allowing the seaweed maybe to, it's like picking, it's helping, it's like they're helping together to wrap us in this, I don't know if they're creating some type of cocoon or something, I don't know. So you can observe that that's happening to your bodies? Yes, and they take us down deep into the, they take us down deep into, they look like pyramids maybe. There's, a few different ones down there. Okay. You can actually enter them. Okay. They s take us down there. Mm -hmm. Well, we could proceed there too. I want you to now explain why you can observe your bodies. How do you perceive yourself now when you can observe your bodies wrapped up and drop deeper down? Mm, we're not living anymore. In what sense do you mean that you're not living anymore? You're still perceiving, isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what are you going to do now? We're wrapped in a cocoon. But we're not in the body. I don't understand us. We don't have to understand that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. If you look back at that life that you had as this girl and growing up, getting older, what was the purpose of that life? To help a society survive. What means did you have? What did you have to do that? It was prophesized. The happening? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm. It was prophesized. It was part of what was to be created in many ways. Things left behind and things moved to the next step. So, whatever your purpose was, did you succeed or not? To a certain point. Mm. It's a symbol that goes from one to the next. When you look back at that life or that existence and you know part of your purpose, what was the goal of life? To help survive community. To see things as they were, as if they will be again. And to see parts that have been lost within the future. And will you recognize that when the time is right? Yes, certain places and certain people. Anything else you want to say about that existence that you just observed that would be of importance or interesting for our watchers to know? When you look at all that what you just experienced, to wrap that up. Mm -hmm. That we are an existence that has been for many centuries or times, as you would say. We are still embedded in some of the humanity within your planet.
there were ones that had the abilities to keep the bloodline of here in the future of time. They are the ones that are going to help the humanity of your planet to survive now. When you say your planet, are you not considering yourself to be from this planet then? Or what do you mean by that? Yes. Okay. But there will be times where you feel that the disconnection from your own bodies And we have the powers and abilities within us to become what we used to be. If those that are watching and will watch that session that we have now, how would those that are, let's say like you, will mm -hmm. how do they recognize themselves being a part of? They feel as if there are other things within them that they might not understand. Maybe feeling of a disconnection at times. It is not that they have a feeling within them that they don't belong. It's that they do belong. They have always belonged, and this is what we've lost. But they can only be the ones within themselves to find that, that part within them. They are the ones themselves to find. Thank you very much. I will now guide you to wake up in a little moment.